Hello everyone, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. My name is Amos Legers, I am a 3D environment artist, and in this tutorial we will go over on how to make a fly-through in CryEngine. So, first of all, let's get started. So, what you want to do is you want to go to View, Open View Plane, and then you want to go down until you find Track View. So, select this, then you will get this little window over here. So, in my case it's pretty big, but we will just leave it like that. Now, to set things up, what you want to do is, first of all, you want to go to the position where you want to start recording, for example, over here. Then you want to go to create camera from current view. You want to select that camera by going to camera, and in my case this is camera 2 for our current view. And then you want to go to the top again, and then select current camera. Once you've done that, you want to go to track view. Make a new sequence, let's call it fly through. Press OK. OK. In this case, I already it's already exists, so just fly through one. Just give it any name you want. Press OK. And then press your hide mouse button and add selected entity. This will select our camera to this entity. So, what we want to do now is we want to press this little icon over here, it's called edit sequence. And then we want to set the time, and because we are recording a video and not, for example, a special animation, we can set the time to something big like 500, something like that, and press OK. Now if we see and we scroll down, we can see that it has a lot of time to it. So basically, to start recording, what we want to do is we want to go to Auto Record, and set it to around 1 second or 1 half second. Or actually a half second. So in this case just set it to one second. Because basically what we are going to do is with this on it will um, capture a frame every one second of the position and the rotation of the camera. So basically later on when we start flying it will capture a frame every second and then we can just smooth those frames to make everything look nice and smooth. So let's just start recording. So first of all, make sure that your speed is not too high. So I want to set mine to something like 0 0.05. Something like that will be good. Or actually, let's make it 0 0.6 because I don't want to spend too much of time because it's a pretty big level. And then all we need to do is, well, actually, when you have camera 2, make sure that lock camera movement is not on. In my case it is not on, but sometimes it can be on, so just uncheck it. And once you've done that, make ready to start just flying like normal in the um, editor view by pressing your right mouse button and then with the VASD uh, keys. So then you want to just press auto record and you want to just start flying. So I can already see that my speed is a bit too... Um, fast but that doesn't matter so much because this is just a for the tutorial but i would uh, suggest to get the perfect speed for your um, fly through so nice and slow so you can see a lot of detail so what is also nice is for example when you get to a focal point like this chicken to just stand still and to just look around because then with, with the smooth uh to it later on it will uh, give a nice effect of st of the camera standing still, looking around very smooth and then going on with its business. So I'm not going to record too much, so just stand still, look a bit around, record a bit more. Maybe go through the water, maybe even under the water if you want. Oops, that's a bit on the ground, but you get the point. And then we will uh, stop with this nice... Um, so then what you want to do is you want to press a sec, let me mute my, the audio so you can hear me better. So you want to just press the record button again to stop recording. And now if we control the slider you can see that it is um, it actually recorded everything. So if we would play this now by pressing the play button over here. You would see that it is very shocky and really doesn't look any look good. So basically what you want to do is you want to drag up the track view. 
then you want to go to um, view and check the curve editor so we have this and basically in the position so here we have the x y and z position and we have our rotation the x y and z rotation so if we go to position and we want to select everything like this and then we just want to press this little button called set in out tangents to outer click it and do the same for rotation rotation is the most important one because we want to have a smooth rotation and click it so now if we look back to our um, scene and we press play you will see that it will have a nice and smooth result when flying through of course you can see that I'm going a bit too fast and then you will see that the detail will have some trouble showing up but basically now we have this nice fly through so if we would low down of course maybe we can set the speed to 2 so you can just see that it captured everything so here we stand still we look at the chickens and then we can go on again and like this you can record an entire you can even record cutscenes with this or whatever you want but in this case it's just for a fly through so now we've done this basically what you want to do is you want to hide all the um, screens and the roller bars and um, if you have a second screen then that's very handy because then you can set the track view to the second screen if not you can just uh, lower it down like this and basically you want to just grab a program like Fraps or Camtasia Studio or any other screen recording program you want to um, set it on press play and then just record the screen of course now it's still on 2 so then you can just record the screen and here you go then you can record the entire um, fly through and basically then you have your fly through and you can edit it in a video program but basically that's how you make a fly through in CryEngine 3 so my name is Amos Legers and Thanks for watching 3motive.com